Hey, casters and reloaders, let's talk about case prepping. The 30 out 6 round for paper patch. Alright, so without getting into the basics of case prepping, if you're looking into paper patching, I'm going to assume you know the basics of trimming your case, uh, neck sizing slash resizing your brass. So I don't think I need to talk about that. The only thing different about paper patch bullets um, and a regular full metal jacket bullet as in regards to case prepping is getting your case neck um, tension to not be overly tight to when you seat these bullets they don't rip the jacket off. And, um, these I made a couple days ago and they sat after I tumble lubed them with uh, about 30 percent mineral spirits and 70 um, percent ALOX and you can see that uh, you know it has a nice little oily uh, shine to it and um, they're exactly at 309.5 and 309.10 so uh, 310 basically so these sat um, they air dried and there's still a little bit of oil residue left from the mineral spirits and this is what I found to uh, work pretty good for me but um, talking about case prep today um, what I like to use is the NOE um, expander plug. If you guys are unfamiliar with the expander plug, it's just basically like the M lock die. And what it does is it, it expands the case neck and puts a slight flare into the uh, case itself to where it's just enough opening to um, accept the bullet. So, taking that um, information. Um, these NOE uh, expander plugs use the Lee Universal uh, expanding die and um, I think it's a really awesome tool honestly it makes loading full metal jackets a hell of a lot easier um, like I said they expand the case just enough so this is the regular Lee push through sizing die all you do is you just take off the uh, regular push through sizing um, I guess case flare should be two that comes in your pack and replace it with the NOE version slides right in and you can see there it will just it will expand the case so how this works um, when you're looking at ordering one of these from NOE is the first number that you see is the dimensions on the flaring part which is going to be that little step in, in step right there not the one up top, but the actual one in the middle right there. Um, that is going to be the diameter. The second number is what is going to expand in your case neck. So, for instance, this one's going to expand my case neck at 306. I have a few others. Um, I have a 309, I got a 307, um, you know, 311 by 307. And if you're looking at loading full metal jackets, like I said, you. Uh, Actually, let me show you one real quick. What's really cool about these is, especially if you're trying to load uh, cartridges like the 223 on a progressive press, it's kind of frustrating to hold the bullet and, you know, guide it up as it hit, goes through the seating die. What's cool about these, like I said, it, uh, it flares your case mouth just enough to where you can seat, seat your bullet um, nice and straight inside your case neck. Uh, inside your case neck. A little bit of a flare to it. So, why do I like using this? Um, there's one main purpose. I like to have my case neck about a thousandth of an inch um, when I'm seating these uh, paper patch bullets. That way there's not so much tension that it rips the uh, jacket off. Do you necessarily need the M-Lock die or the NOE expander plug? Um, not really. There's a couple options you could use um, in for uh, loading paper patch bullets. The first thing you could do is actually get a fire form case. You know, something that was fired in your chamber that you paper patch match your barrel to. Um, and you could basically just, oh, I think this is a fire form. <laughs> Hold on, let me find one real quick. So, like I said, here is just a regular fire form case out of my rifle that I'm paper patching to. 
and you can see that the paper patch bullet itself um, hopefully I can get it in there uh, it will slide in there there you go pretty easy right All right okay so you can use the bleed universal decapping die uh, decap your primer and put it and seed a brand new one in after uh, you know cleaning it whatsoever um, trimming the brass and not resizing anything of the case at all um, basically you know you can use the fireform brass uh, seat your bullet as is uh, with the powder loaded and give a slight roll crimp it's very very uh, minimal roll crimp just to hold the bullet now you kind of got to treat paper patch bullets when loading them um, into your bolt action um, kind of fragile like I said just kind of you can't load them in your box magazine and expect it to chamber without grabbing um, a piece of metal on your box uh, magazine or something you know when chambering like I said these are pretty fragile so they will uh, you have a high you know tendency to when loading it that way that it will rip the jacket itself um, you know when chambering so you're going to want to single feed these by actually throw it into your chamber and then close the bolt down that uh, kind of eliminates the fact of destroying these bullets and all your hard work that you did so uh, that being said um, loading into a fireform brass you know without resizing at all is an option with a uh, slight roll crimp um, and another option would be using the NOE a uh, expander plug and like I said I like to have about a thousandths under um, the bullet itself so for instance this is a 310 if I get an expander plug that is roughly 309 um, it will help seat the uh, the bullet down without damaging as it gets seated so um, I already prepped these cases you know I got a nice primer in there and this is what I'm going to be uh, what I'm going to be using with my superformance um, I'm doing something a little different which I'll actually talk about maybe later on when I'm doing some match loads but these cases that I have separated are actually volume measured and I sorted uh, these cases that way so each one of these cases are actually the same amount of volume um, compared to the other cases that I have so my groups uh, I've noticed and the reason why I'm doing this is because it, it lowers standard deviation numbers um, again I'll talk about that maybe later on down the road but other than that that's just something off the side <laughs> Uh, loading these bolts, like I said, um, cases are prepped. I used a expander plug, and you can see it's got a slight little bevel on top, and it's able to get the bullet started pretty easily. Let's see, there's a light, a slight little gap to it, so when you go to seat these, it doesn't have issues. So I, I tried using the regular expander plug um, from the Lee push uh, or universal expanding plug and what I found it was doing was like I said destroying the paper patch either it was tearing it about halfway up or it was simply just moving the paper patch itself and um, unraveling it or causing it to overlap and you know with the with itself causing a third crease which like I said will deform your bullet all right, bullet seeking time. Let me change out my turret head, put my 30 out six one third turret head on. So I use this a lot. This is one of my favorite presses. I got um, my bullet and well, no, hold on. Um, it's uh, straight as possible. That's why I like it. Love about that uh, spender plug. Pretty straight. I got my uh, bullet seating depth set. And the only thing um, about this stage is you want to go slow and uh, you want to take your time. Like I said, you spend all this time and effort making these paper patch bullets. It will suck to uh, destroy it here. So um, I got a little, like I said, a slight uh, bevel on my case, and I'm just going to go ahead and seat the bullet until it stops. You can get a feel for it eventually, and you'll see that these uh, 
uh, cases um, start seeding pretty good. But there you go. You can see there that there is no damage done to the bullet itself. The patch is still on there very evenly. And uh, this will be ready to shoot. Now, what I like to do, uh, which may be a little different, um, after seeding this bullet, is I have enough neck tension. Like I said, I got about a thousandths neck tension on this bullet that it won't affect um, seeding it further down when I, when I actually cam over my, uh, my lug. I, I don't roll crimp from here. I do have a little bit of a bell on my case still, but it doesn't affect chambering my round on my rifle. Again, this could be different for your gun. So, um, find you know you could try it out and see what it does. Um, but for me, what I'm doing, I'm just using my expander plug, and then seating the bullet, and I don't put a roll crimp at all or anything. Um, that's just how it is. I rock it out the way it is, just seated. So this cartridge right here is completed, ready to fire for my rifle. So that was 52.5. I'm gonna go ahead and load more up. Um, this is basically the method I'm using for prepping my brass and seeding these bullets. Uh, there probably is other methods out there. This is basically what I've learned and um, back in the day. Um, and I've been experimenting actually with doing the uh, expander plug method. My uncle, what he liked to do back in the day would just use regular fire form brass and um, you know, seat the bullet and do a roll crimp. Now, is there another way of making these expander plugs? Well, I kind of thought about it and I think there is. Let's see here. Alright, so here's an idea. This is kind of what I thought of doing is taking a decapping pin of the next caliber up or something similar that's oversized um, or just maybe you have a spare and actually start, you know, chuck it into your drill. Yeah, you know, so, which creates a little mini lathe. So, uh, at that point, you can go ahead and uh, very lightly sand it down to the dimension just over your, your uh, paper patch bullet. You know, for me, um, 310 or, you know, 309. Uh, and put this as your decapping pin for your um, resizing die. And I'll go from there. And it will get you to the same, uh, basically do the same thing that the uh, expander plug does except for do a little fl uh, except for putting a flare in the case neck which then you can go ahead and just use your regular uh, universal um, flaring die so there that's another option I'm thinking of I haven't done it yet but um, I think that might work pretty good to be honest but um it's, you know, without me getting getting into too many variables before shooting these for groups, I'm just working on this simple method for now, which I'm showing you guys. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna load more of these up, and I want to get out to shooting. So uh, it's raining currently today, so hopefully uh, this weekend I'll be able to show you guys the groups, and hopefully we'll get a nice uh, MOA group that I can show you guys. Uh, other than that, guys, um, so just real quick. Um, Continue on with the paper patch series. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, throw a like, subscribe if you uh, think this uh, video is um, helpful. And other than that, um, if you guys aren't familiar with Slack, um, the Reloaders Network, it's basically using an app called Slack. I highly recommend checking it out. I'll put a link in the description below uh, of the uh, our website. It's a community for you guys, um, casters and reloaders. Uh, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, kind of an intimate live form so to speak if you're uh, familiar with IRC it's set up the same way um, the application can be used on a regular Windows or Apple computer you can download the app on your phone and uh, it's a really cool um, system you can uh, talk to uh, content makers like me myself other content makers like uh, Loads of Bacon, uh, Ozark Spirit JCM45, Uncle Jim, everybody here that you see commenting usually on the, our YouTube videos, you can go ahead and join their channel um, on Slack or it, you know publicly and actually have a conversation with them. Ask them questions, whatever you feel like. It's a great community to join. I highly recommend you guys check it out. 
other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you guys at the uh, 100-yard mark. All right. See you soon.